Welcome back. I realize it's Friday. I had too much fun printing all week and I didn't make a video, but I got something to share with you guys. And also, thank you very much for everybody who commented on uh, my slow fiery issue. I got lots of ideas and I have swapped out that pad because my thermal paste came in and the new fan. So that's good to go. It's still slow. I'm pretty sure software uh, reinstall and or looking at some RAM or hard drive is going to fix that. But I still got to figure out whether or not I want to keep this machine in here or put the 2070 in here. And I got a lot of feedback on that too. Got about half and half saying yes and half saying no. So who knows? So 1200 this week was being a bit like Bob Marley. You know, always be jamming. Anyways, the one problem I had, I typically have, it's for carbonless eight and a half by 11. So I recently started buying some of that and it doesn't like to run with the 11 inch side. Uh, it doesn't like to run portrait through there. So I rotate that um, so that the grain direction is perpendicular to the drum. So what happens is like, I think it's just the yellow sheet for some reason, the yellow sheet wanted to wrap around the drum. So all I had to do is rotate it 90 degrees, then it ran like, like a dream. Now the other issue I occasionally saw, but it was so repeatable that I knew it had to be something to do with the image printed on the paper. So the jam that I was getting on here J9301. So usually when I get a jam, I just clear it out and uh, hopefully it runs fine the next time around and it's either related to paper or something. But uh, I'd had some time so I dove into what that code was so I could pinpoint actually why the machine was stopping. So I searched here on the um, service manual j 9301 it says ADU exit sensor PS43 does not turn on within the specific period of time of PS46. So what's that's, what that's saying is one sensor sensed the paper and then in the amount of time it should have gotten to the next sensor, that sensor didn't sense the paper. So I knew that the problem was happening between those two sensors. So my next uh, operation was to figure out what sensors uh, they're talking about. All you got to do is search for PS43 in the manual here and oops there it is. And then this is the duplex section. So the problem was happening between sensor one and PS46, which was sensor 11. So here is that we looked in from the top there. Uh, so the sheet came in and wouldn't reverse back out. So I knew that one of these drive rollers was not pulling it back out. That was the jam that I was getting. Always at the same place, always after it would print six sheets, uh, but I can't get it to do it now. So apparently it's, it's running fine, but for, I don't know, two or three days in a row, I would try and start the job. I was getting a, jo a jam and I just pushed it off. I was like, you know what? I don't need that job to be done right now. I got other stuff. Uh, and it, every single time after six sheets, it would jam. And this is what I found. So the jam would, the paper would be right here which uh, the paper comes back in here and then goes forward. It turns it over here. And what I found was on that sheet on the bottom side, there was a large image. And what I'm thinking is that made that sheet of paper slippy enough that the drive rollers kind of lost it as it was changing the direction because that paper goes reversed and then it goes forward again. So it turns it over. Uh, I cleaned those rollers, that didn't help. Uh, and then I tried, I tried to print it face up because I was like, well, you know what, if, uh, if I could have that image 
on the top side when it's getting duplexed, it would go right out the back then and it would be fine. But for some reason I couldn't print face up. Luckily with a PDF snake, I can reverse a PDF and uh, then I could print this job face up and it ran just fine. So that is how I solved the problem on here. It reminded me of a comment last week uh, where one of you guys had said you were printing a job and in your fiery and it would just stop, like partially what printed. It would go through the job and at some point it would just throw an error and stop printing the job. And I was curious if anybody else had this problem because I had that same problem on, I'm pretty sure it was the 1070, might have been another machine too, where if I printed a book, you know, a hundred page book, face down, it would print. But as soon as I changed it in the fiery to print face up, it would jam, it, not, it wouldn't jam, it would partially print the job and then throw an error code which I thought was really crazy. So I'm, I'm curious if other people ran into that, like if you have problems printing face up or face down, uh, that's, just, that's just crazy to me, it's random. I, I can't, I guess if I knew how the software would work, I might understand it more. If you noticed, I got my light on. That thing's nice, but I have uh, bigger and better plans for a light. We're gonna have a craft episode one of these times uh, because that's just not tall enough because I have this screen at eye level here it's like six foot high so if I'm down here looking this way it obstructs that light so I need that light to be like an extra two feet higher three foot higher I got I got some ideas I got some stuff on the way and I don't know we'll see if it works I feel like every week I ought to do some sort of a paper update and well it's all still sold out for the most part i i got a bunch of 80 pound 12 by 18 that came in and was available i don't use a whole lot of it but i bought like a year's supply of it just so i have it what else did i buy oh yeah some uh some 20 pound text for an upcoming job and um something else became available too envelopes i stocked up on some envelopes but still paper where are you at oh yeah there's a lot of blazer digital uh, that became available as well actually it might have been available for a while I just never bought this stuff but it seems to be running pretty good and all kinds of uh, coded text and cover weight uh, I don't have any problems I mean uh, I'd be interested to hear what other people have to say about running blazer but well it's paper I'm, I'm just happy to have paper I've also noticed there's a lot of new viewers to the channel, so welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I'm telling everybody else, keep commenting. So if you're new, comment below and let me know what's going on. Um, I always love feedback. You guys teach me so much. Um, that's why, that's part of the reason I love this channel. We're all learning together. So if you haven't read comments, make sure you read comments too on the videos. I think that's that's my favorite part of posting a video, seeing what you guys are going to comment in on. So thanks again for watching. Real short one this week, but uh, well, that's just the way it is. Have a good weekend.